congratulations to all the lovely ladies on the stage. You all look extremely gorgeous. Uh, Manushi and to all the females on the stage, want to know that what Manushi's beauty with a purpose is menstrual hygiene. So many years, all women across the world go through this issue, but still, uh, like Miss Oceana, uh, like the ladies on the stage mentioned that even women across the world also go through this taboo of menstrual hygiene. Why do you think about something that is going on since the day man and a woman were there in this world is going through, but still there's a taboo on it, a taboo on it, and people don't want to talk about it. Why do you think? Where does do you think that this uh, blockade in their mind stems from? I think it's communication. When you talk about something, you know more about it, and you're more comfortable about it. And a lot of reasons due to which we ha it's a taboo and we've had myths is because people didn't know why it happens. And you would associate blood with impurity or a disease or something that's going wrong in your body, which is very natural. So people uh, try to explain it the way they understood it. But now, since we know the science behind it, now times have changed. Now we even have the technology to m manage your menstruation. So uh, I think similarly, your thought process should change, which can change through communication. Um, and can I add to that? Can I add to that real quick as well? Please. Um, just on the note of, you know, there's all of this technological developments and science unveiling the truth behind menstruation. What's important so that we don't kind of fall back into that taboo is that we continue to openly talk about it and have open dialogue and discussions. Both men and women, both boys and girls, you know, the mothers and fathers have the responsibility to raise their daughter and to let their daughter know exactly what is going on in their life, you know. So this isn't just something that happens to girls and women, but, you know, boys and men will experience it as well because we live together, you know. So the important thing is that we have open, comfortable dialogue and discussion about it so that we don't fall back into that idea that it's taboo uh, one, one, more, uh, one more discussion that is going around India uh, is that uh, daily for uh, when you're on your first day of a period do you wonderful ladies agree with this notion of a leaf or do you not I think uh, the day you're menstruating is like any other day it's it should be treated like any other day definitely if you need a leaf then uh, you know the system should be considerate enough to provide you with one but it should not be like a compulsory leave that uh, you know you could just take a leave because you're menstruating because that would actually mean that there's something going wrong and that's the message we do not want to send out to the society I think um, that would also continue adding on to the taboo because that would mean then that you are weak and you have to go home because you're menstruating. And that's obviously something that we're trying to change. So, of course, if you are in way too much pain and need to go home, that's a different story. But as Manuji said, I don't think it should be a compulsory thing. Subscribe to Movie Talkies and click on the bell icon for latest updates.